everyone, welcome to the channel. This is Greg and today we're gonna do a little hack and what we're gonna do is to make our EDC items a little more grippy. Why do we want to make our EDC items more grippy in the first place? Sometimes our EDC items such as our knife, flashlight, or any other items tend to be a smooth barrel or a shiny surface that tends to be very slippery okay especially if you've been holding it for a while and the oil from your hands get onto your flashlight or onto your knife and it takes more effort to actuate the switch so for example this tiny flashlight this is a solar force x3 this has a very shiny and slick body okay and sometimes it's very difficult to twist okay this is a twist head flashlight okay and it tends to get very slippery okay so what do i do with those kinds of gear that tend to become slippery okay so i use this this is actually a bicycle inner tube okay you this comes in like a box i got this from decathlon this is new this is the my old one and it's still still a lot okay so in the box you can get an entire bicycle inner tube okay and you inflate that inner tube through here okay you don't need this part you can just cut it off okay so i won't cut this thing today because i still have a lot from my old bicycle inner tube so if you cut that one you'll end up with a really really long tube what you do is cut off some just a short piece of tube and what you end up with is like a rubber band okay this is quite stretchy okay so what do I do when I cut off a piece of rubber from the inner tube is I put it inside out why is because most often the markings on your inner tube are printed on the outside okay and if you don't turn it over the the markings will be outside your your gear okay so after doing that what I do is wash it okay I wash the the strip of inner tube to remove this flaky powdery residue what I use is just plain soap and water to remove all of this and it actually removes the the rubbery smell altogether you can have this strip as thin or as thick as you would want however i find that if you cut off a very thick strip it's very hard to insert into your gear so i i have on the table right now some of uh, my flashlights and a couple of knives that I put this uh, rubber band on so first of all this is my mini mag my mini mag light all right this is a twist flashlight and it tends to be very slippery when you want to turn it on or off so having this rubber pad on the body of the flashlight makes it a world of difference ok 
Okay, it makes it so easy to to twist. Okay, so similar to what I showed earlier, this is the smaller Solar Force X3 without a rubber okay, grip surface. Okay, this is the X2. Okay, this is a little bigger, and I put a half inch of rubber inner tube onto the body i hope you can see this one okay it makes it so easy to twist unlike if i was holding the body itself you really have to grip the surface to twist it okay the head has very good knurling so there's no need to put a rubber strip on it but the body tends to be very slick so I put the rubber strip here okay let me turn that off okay this is another twist flashlight the, the body has these flat uh, sides so you can get a good handle on this side but the head is is round and the knurling is quite fine so I put a half inch strip of rubber inner tube on the head and it makes this light really easy to turn on and off okay so this is uh, an LZ G E D C double A alright so Speaking of another LZ, this is the LZ Alpha. Okay, I put rubber inner tube on the head and on the tail because I often need to twist the, the tail off to remove the battery to charge it. Okay, this is most especially useful if you have the high low tail cap of uh, these uh, flashlights so it's super easy to to turn with little effort okay and if you grip the flashlight okay it makes the flashlight very tactile okay the middle part doesn't need any rubber strip because it has very deep grooves okay okay so that's it for that one another flashlight that I put rubber strips on this is my one of my favorite flashlights this is the Claros XT1A I put rubber strips on the head and that the tail end to easily twist it apart when I need to remove the battery for charging okay okay so this is another flashlight that I put a wide strip on this is actually a, a Streamlight Protac 1L1AA this has a very smooth body okay and what tends to happen is when I pull this, my fingers slide until this notch, until I am able to remove it from my pocket. Okay, so with this rubber inner tube inserted into the body, when I grab this flashlight in my, from my pocket and my thumb lands on the rubber strip, it takes very little effort to pull it out from my pocket okay so what happens for example is this flashlight is clipped here when I put my thumb in and that and my thumb hits that rubber pad it's so easy now to pick it up even with wet hands even if you're hands are muddy greasy when that 
finger or the thumb hits that pad it's like sticky sticky glue that gives you a really really good grip on the flashlight okay and this hack doesn't benefit only flashlights I also do that on my camping knives okay so for example this is a uh, Amora, this is a companion HD. The sheaths of these knives are plastic and they tend to be slippery, especially if they're wet. Okay, you really have to grip this to remove the, the knife or push okay, the sheath off. But I put just two thin strips of bicycle inner tube here. So when your finger catches on these strips, it really makes this easy to remove the knife from the sheath. Okay, I did that also on my smaller Mora. This is the Eldris. Okay, so this the sheath is also without any grooves. So when you put the two strips, it makes removing the sheath really, really easy. And you can see other videos on YouTube, they, they even insert fire steels or other mods onto their Mora sheaths. And you can use that same bicycle inner tube to do that. Okay, so go try it out. Uh, let me know if uh, this works for you as well and if you have any other comments or suggestions please put it in the comment section okay so that's it I hope this helps you and see you on the next video